Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Gekokujo 3.1. Now, when we left off, I had purchased a fish sauce brewery and driven some cattle all the way over to Kofu. Now, I have rectified my mistake in terms of the fish sauce brewery because, you know, sometimes I read things a little bit weirdly, also mainly because the mod changes the wording of the enterprise because obviously it's a different kind of enterprise and a fish sauce brewery is actually quite a, a long title so I would have assumed that that's probably the reason because the values of the profit and the, the expenditure that you use with an enterprise change. So yeah, a little bit mixed up there but I have corrected that mistake. I sold the fish sauce brewery and purchased a lacquer works. I believe that's going to give us about 260 per week and that's that's relatively nice. Otherwise, I've been doing a little bit of recruiting. I've gained some more ninjas, some Yojimbo units, and leveled them up. And I, let me just tell you, there are huge amounts of bandits in the area. And i got to say, I'm actually a little bit worried about this now, because this is the biggest party of Kinai rebels I've actually fought. And I'm a bit worried about it, to be honest, because... You know, you know how they are. They can, they, they, you know, they're pretty difficult. They're pretty difficult for for who they are. I mean, they're they're not supposed to be. I, I mean, yeah, I think they probably are supposed to be this difficult. But as you can see, I mean, there's just so many of them, and they actually do have some bows, which is not good. They actually do have bows, which is not not very good for me. No, not very good at all. Come on, maybe we can get some proficiency. I'd like to be able to get some archery proficiency. Actually, I think that would make a big big difference to our you know, accuracy and the speed that we're able to reload and everything. But this is the thing. What I'm doing right now is I'm just going to weaken them up a little bit. Hopefully I'm not going to get killed as a result of my, you know, actions here. I would not like that to happen because I'd like to stay in the fight as much as possible. But what I'm going to try and do is just try and eliminate these polearm guys because they're obviously going to be the most annoying. The archers are going to be, you know, pretty easy to take out. I don't think they're going to be too difficult. I am using you know, third person here, mainly because I don't really need accuracy. I mean, yeah, okay, I could get some headshots and things, but I think at the moment survival is kind of the number one aim here. There you go. Okay, so my horse has now been hit, so I think it's about time that I actually retreat a little bit here, and we're going to get our units to sort of come over. Oh, this is a little bit worrying, isn't it? They, yeah, I should have probably placed them a little bit closer. Now, the one thing that will happen is that if we are able to attain victory in this encounter is that we will most likely then be able to yeah there we go oh lovely yeah we will then be able to maybe outfit all of our companions in really nice gear now i'm really really worried about this i am actually unsure how many of these units that we're actually going to be able to use relatively well can, can i actually oh oh it seems like we might actually be doing quite a good job here Maybe. Maybe. Oh, re what? Oh, what? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Really? Really? Ah, okay, well, that was a bit of a shame, wasn't it? That was a real shame because I really anticipated us actually doing much better than that. But apparently the various ninjas and shinobi and things that I have are not particularly good at staying alive. So it seems like we're going to have to retreat here, which is... A bit of a shame. I really would have appreciated not doing that, but as you can see, most of them were actually injured, so if we can, you know, keep a hold of where those guys are going. Oh my, really? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna find work in town and we're just gonna restore ourselves. Yeah, Mei Ling is obviously not very happy with me, and we're probably also gonna get more complaints from someone else. It seems like the time goes a lot faster when you're actually working, so you do actually gain a little bit of money as you restore your HP as well. And am I, am I back? Am I back to full HP? Well, almost. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, let's just level these guys up. Okay, so this is the thing. I don't know whether to go for Shinobi or whether to go for Elder Maidens. I have leveled, I think, one into a Kunoichi, and I don't know what their stats are like. Oh, the stats are okay. They're not great. And I've also leveled one up into a Shuru, or whatever it may be. And they are, well, they're mounted. And I think that's probably going to be a bit superior. So we'll just go for the mounted units. And let's go for some veteran retainers there. That's relatively good. Okay, but yeah, they, they you know, the Kinai Rebels, they're actually pretty difficult. But obviously, that's the only way we can actually level up right now. 
it seems like that is the easiest way to level up. And let's see if there's anyone. Oh, Francisco is actually here. And there's also a Shinobi over there. I think we're probably going to... Let's speak to the farmer. Because I would like to be able to get some more honor. And it would be nice to... Yes, where is this village? Yeah, it would be nice to go and help. Kamioka. Kamioka. All right. So let's see. Francisco, you're going to be 500 mon. Thank you very much. And I don't know what he has you know, in terms of skills or anything. So, yeah, we're going to hire these shinobi as well as recruiting some samurai here as well. I only have 605 mon now, but I felt like I would just, you know, keep a little bit of a nest egg until I started recording because I actually did a, a bunch of fighting off screen to, you know, gain some money, gain some experience and so on. And yeah, that's actually helping. What? Francisco has absolutely amazing skills. Look at his skills. Pathfinding 5, Wound Treatment 4, Surgery 6, Engineering 2, and Trade. Even though, you know, we don't necessarily need trading, but that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I'm actually really surprised. All right, so I guess I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so we can level up. Oh, yeah. I haven't leveled up Bruce since he was enlisted. So... <laughs> <laughs> so he has a bunch of skill points to spend. Oh my. Yeah, I actually forgot to do this, hilariously enough. Yeah, I did forget to do this. Okay, so what are we going to be doing? Hmm, I, I actually don't know. I suppose we should just level up our strength and level up our power strike and iron flesh and so on and so forth. I expect, I mean, leadership is okay, but it doesn't really increase the amount of troops that we can command by too much. And reducing troop wages is okay. Improving morale is obviously quite important. So let's go for 9 in Charisma. Get an additional point in Leadership. I don't really think we need that much in Prisoner Management right now. So we can probably skip that. But otherwise, I think I'm probably just going to go for 21 in Strength. And we're just going to get some more Power Draw, more Power Strike. And we'll just get some more Iron Flesh. Let's actually get some Iron Flesh for now. Because obviously we don't have a shield. So getting some Iron Flesh is probably the only way that we can really survive. And no wonder we were dying easily, right? No wonder we were dying. Because, I mean, literally, we had 50 HP. So, yeah. Not particularly good. I should, probably should have gone for some Weapon Master as well, so I could actually spend these Weapon Points. But it's okay. It's absolutely fine. We'll probably do that in the next level. So, let's see. Can we actually take on some Kenai Rebels here? I mean, that's the thing. I really want to be able to, but as it stands, it doesn't seem like we have a very good force for it, which is actually kind of sad. I mean, it seems like I'm going to need to do more in every single way. I mean, I'm going to need to do more in terms of using my bow to good effect and so on and so forth. But yeah, anyway, we're going to attack the bandits. 30. 30 Woku pirates. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about this because we don't know how Woku pirates are. We don't know whether they're any good. But from what I remember, they're, 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 they're decent. Nice headshot. Yes, can I get another headshot? I don't know, but there's a lot of villagers coming. And, uh, okay, my horse, uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Okay, so let's just go up here and kill these gunners. Yeah, take that. Okay, no, don't, don't shoot me now. Don't shoot me, no, thank you very much for missing. Yes, that's exactly what I want you to do. And, whoa, that guy has a huge sword. Oh, huge sword, okay. I would like that sword, actually. I would very much like that sword, it looks cool. Absolutely looks cool. Okay, so this guy is obviously a gunner as well. Going to need to get him out the way. But yeah, as you can see, we're using that Masamune something or other. I actually can't remember the proper term for it. But we're going to take a look at it after this. And, you know, I'll show you what it is. I think I think you've already seen it, actually. Because it was the thing that we gained in the previous episode. Or, yeah, from the random event. You know that random event? Anyway, here we go. So I lost some Shinobi, lost some Ninjas. Yeah, it seems like they're not very hardy they don't really survive very very good anyway we can gain some honor there and improve our relation with the town or village in this case i'm not going to be taking or recruiting any villagers from here mainly because i would like to primarily only have samurai units and i'm thinking i might join the miyoshi clan as a mercenary perhaps but let's just see how that goes obviously uh, right now, everything is uh, its quite expensive, as you can see. My wages are much more expensive than what I currently have, so... Hmm, maybe I should have stayed enlisted a little bit longer? Well, that's the thing. I really wanted to take this over here, because that's going to continue spawning units and things for us. And in my opinion, that is, that is invaluable, so I'd very much like to do that. Maybe I'm going to need to... Hmm... 
probably going to need to go a bit off screen and see what I can do about, you know, actually leveling up some of our units here. Because, I mean, the Shinobi, I mean, they're okay, but the ninjas, they die very easily. Do they have, they have 58 HP. 58 HP is pretty reasonable, but I suppose it's mainly because of their armor. Yeah, their armor is pretty light, but obviously they are meant to be quite light because they are ninjas. Oh yeah, by the way, I found this horse. I don't know how, but I found this horse. It was... I think on some Kenai Rebels, actually. I seem to remember it was from some Kenai Rebels. And we need Riding Skill 4 for that. So maybe I should have actually improved my Riding Skill. But we're going to level up pretty soon anyway. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to try and avoid the Kenai Rebels. Because there are so many of them, as you can see. Oh my. Is it, oh, oh, that was close. Okay, I actually thought I was going to get involved in a battle there. But no, no. Thankfully not. So let's go and speak to the Guildmaster. As you can see, we have four. Four relation with Nara right now. So let's let's see. Oh, okay. Delivering some soy sauce. Where do you need to... Uh, Funai. Funai. All right. So where is Funai? Hopefully it's nearby. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Is it actually nearby? I don't think so. That is a shame. All right. Well, let's just take a look and see where it may be. Okay. It's all the way... Oh my, oh yes, it is very far away, okay. So, I'm going to do the journey off screen, because I don't think you want to see that. But, if I come across any bandits that we could fight, then of course, you will see it. Alright, so, as you can see here, we have traveled down to Shimazu territory, and these are some deserters, actually. I thought it might be a nice idea to try and take them on. Obviously, there's only ten of them, because they are trained Shimazu skirmishers. I'm a little bit worried about actually dealing with them. And what I would love to do is actually just get some loot. I'd love to get some loot, because if we can get some loot, then I can actually start getting my companions outfitted in some good gear. Because I have actually upgraded, or should I say updated, their protocols when it comes to upgrading their armor and weapons and things like that. So hopefully we're going to get Mari and Mei Ling and Teruya. I, I think her name is Teruya now, because it used to be Kaguya apparently, so... Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, Teru Teruyo? Teruyo? I have no idea how to say that. Oh, well. That's a shame. Anyway, let's try and... Uh, uh, co uh, co uh, come on now. Yes. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. This weapon is absolutely amazing. I still haven't shown it, have I? Yeah, I really do need to show it. It's actually really nice. It has an extremely good reach. And its speed is faster than the Nodachi that I was using. And obviously it doesn't crush through blocks, which is a bit of a shame. But... Who needs crushing through blocks when you have 150 reach or something along those lines? So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so here we go. Now, let's see now. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to update our equipment because Francisco has... Ah, oh, okay, so he has this. Uh, okay, well, I suppose that's fine. Isn't it? Is it fine? I actually don't know what Francisco... Oh, wait, he uses guns, doesn't he? Uh, let's just give him a musket and, a, and bullets. Why not? There you go. I think that should be fine for him. Okay, so we'll just allow our people to perform the upgrading. And hopefully that has made a big difference. Hopefully. Alright. So, now... You've earned your name today, O Valorous One, and Francisco too. I like that one. He quotes verses from his Bible as he goes into battle, which appeals to an artistic soul like my own. Ah, well, there you go. It seems like Francisco and Teruyo actually do like each other quite a bit. All right, so yeah, as you can see, we're actually here down in Otomo clan territory, not Shimazu clan. Never mind, and we can now deliver the soy sauce. I like, I like some, I like some soy sauce. I like soy sauce. Anyway, let's see if we can hand that in real quick. There we go, and look at that. Look at how much experience we're getting just from that. It's really nice, and we're also gaining relation with Nara and Funai. It seems like I'm gonna have to just run around, do a bunch of guildmaster quests. Because apart from obviously the fact that I can level up by fighting bandits and things, I can also gain huge amounts of relation with each town, and that's very important. Or at the very least, I quite like doing it because, you know, you have the opportunity to get enterprises. But in Gekokujo, it doesn't seem like the enterprises are actually, you know, the be-all and end-all. And I'm actually a bit worried about how I'm supposed to make money, but obviously I'd like to become a mercenary for the Miyoshi, so I'm going to go back to their territory in just a second after I've spoken to the Guildmaster and seen what kind of job he has. Uh, escort a caravan to Okayama. 
Uh, I don't I don't know where Okayama is off by heart, so I have no idea whether I want to do that. Okayama, where is that? It is... Oh, it's up there, so I could technically do it. Uh, I, I don't know. I think I'm just going to go back to Miyoshi Clan territory and see whether I can become a mercenary. Alright, so yeah, long story short, I attempted to become a mercenary of the Miyoshi clan, and I tried to do that very much. I tried to find the vassals, couldn't find any vassals. I went to Great Lord Miyoshi in Kyoto, I believe he was in, and I spoke to him and I was like, oh yes, I want to know the location of X person. And so I asked him where, you know, where the one of the lords was, and I went all the way to the lord, and then he said, hmm, I have no tasks for you, and then I clicked a couple more times, because sometimes the lords will not give you something until you click a couple of times. And then he did give me something, and then he said, no, I'm sorry, I can't give you that for some reason. Not entirely sure why. But then I spoke to the other guy, the other vassal that he was with, because they were actually raiding a village in Chosakabe clan territory. And I spoke to the other guy, and he said, I want you to deliver a letter to Kiyosu and some guy here. I actually don't know who it is. But I went, I went to Kiyosu, as you can see here, and the guy is currently participating in a tournament. So I thought to myself, okay, we're going to probably participate in a tournament because I need the money. And also, you know, it would actually end the tournament then, I suppose, if, you know, we, we get it over with. So let's see if I'm actually able to get a couple of kills here. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice kill. And I think I don't need to do anything else. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, so let's take a look. Two teams. Okay, I have a... Oh, no, I have a spear or a staff thing. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, okay, I've killed someone. I killed someone. So that does, does that mean I'm actually automatically in? I think I am. Maybe. That's, that's actually good, I hope. Aw, oh, really? Really? Okay, well, Great Lord Oda wins. And I can't actually get into the feast. I am so sad now. Well, at least I'm not too sad because I do actually get to bring a message from Lord Sogo. Oh, yes, there we go. Yeah, Lord Sogo doesn't actually like us very much anyway. But yeah, I'm actually going to ask this guy whether I can become a mercenary. Can I see? Look at that. I can actually just become a mercenary instantly with the Oda clan. But the Miyoshi clan, they're just like, oh, no, I can't possibly give you any kind of good task. Can I? No. Well, anyway, I'm actually going to join the Oda clan right now. I'm actually going to do that because I personally feel like it is, I don't know, I just need, I need the wages, to be honest. I actually need the wages, and this is probably going to help me to be able to take, let me see now, where do I, where do I have to go again? Yeah, Midera, I'm probably going to try and take that, if I can, and obviously I can, obviously, you know, not, you know, I can just give up being a mercenary after a month, so even if things don't really work out for me here, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so... Before we end the episode off, if you want to leave the episode early, then you can, but I'm just going to be leveling up some of our companions here. Obviously, Francisco is, in my opinion, really, really good. And we're going to be getting some first aid for him there. He's going to become our medic, I'm pretty sure. Let's get him some firearm skill, because he actually has a musket. Yeah, there you go. He actually does have a musket. It has a speed rating of 16. Can you believe it? He's actually wearing women's clothes at the moment, because... Automatic upgrading. Yeah, automatic upgrading. Okay, so Mei Ling, you, you have also leveled up. Okay, more strength for you. And we're going to be making you... Well, you are technically a thrown weapon specialist, so we're going to be giving you some power throw here. These guys are going to level up really, really nicely. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to level up really nicely. Anyway, let's get some more agility. And I'm probably going to be leveling riding skill to four. But for now, we're also going to be getting some weapon master. Because I just want to be able to level this up with some weapon points here. I mean, we're getting so many weapon points for some reason that it's only logical to assume that that's a good idea. Anyway, next time, I'm hopefully ha going to have a bit of a better army. I'm probably going to swap out all of these shinobi for actual Oda Clan units. I'm going to try and, you know, get some Oda Clan units in there, some samurai units, maybe even some peasants as well. Depends on how much money I have, but obviously what I'm going to try to do first is get an enterprise in one of their towns, and obviously that's going to take a bit of time to get the relation up. There's a lot of off-screen work to do. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you 
the next time.